and you may be high and you may be stretched wide. You may be sacrificed. You may be persecuted. You may be put up and, 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 and don't know your, your, your right from your left. But I'm here to tell you your hope is in Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. I haven't even begun to preach yet. Amen. Oh, look, look at the text. Look at the text. Your first thing that I want you to write down or keep in your mind. We got three points this morning, and I'm going to sit down. Number one, know what your goal is. Know what your goal is in life. Not only in your physical life, but what? Your spiritual life. We have to have goals. We have to have objectives. We have to have Somewhere that we know that we are going. Yeah. What did it say? For I'm lost and I'm trying to find myself. But hey, Jerusalem is just around the corner. Yeah. What is your goal today? What is your Jerusalem? What is your freedom? What is the love? What is the new life that you're searching for? It says when the days drew near for Jesus to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem. Here's what you need to understand. You need to look at the scripture and you need to read and reread what Jesus was doing. What he is saying is, my time has come. Who in here feels that your time is here? Who in here feels that you're waiting for your time? Who in here is waiting, saying, I'm waiting for my turn, Lord. I've been on my knees and I've been praying. I've been asking for a breakthrough, amen. But look at Jesus Christ. Jesus had to go all around from city to city. But it says when the days drew near, amen, or oh, I'm here to testify to you, if you remain in obedience, if you remain in prayer, if you remain in the counsel of the Lord, you will know that your days are drawing near. You will know that all this nonsense in your life will soon come to an end. All this drama that you're going through, all these people who are trying to get you, all these people who are trying to talk about you, all these people who are trying to stab you in the back, your days are drawing near. When the days drew near for Jesus to be taken up, to be saved, to be pressed down and shut apart, amen, he set his face to go to Jerusalem. Jesus had a goal. Jesus was born. Jesus was raised by Mary and Joseph. Amen. Jesus went through all his tests and trials, but he had a goal. You have to ask yourself what your goal is. Am I ready to go to Jerusalem? What is my Jerusalem? He set his face to go to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. Hmm. Might I challenge you today as you set your goals for your life, for your physical life, and your spiritual life, what would it look like if you started sending messengers ahead of you, amen? You ask yourself, well, preacher, what are you talking about? I don't have any messengers. I don't have any minions, amen? Oh, but you do. See, it's called the power of the mouth, amen? It's called the power of the type word. We're in the 21st century, amen? Huh? We're all on Facebook, we're all on social media, we're all on email. I know that, not everybody, but I, 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 we're all out there talking, we're doing different things, but it's the same thing, the power of the mouth and the power of your fingers. Your messengers that go out ahead of you is what you put out in the atmosphere, huh? So if you continue to say, oh, you know, uh, I, I'm so down and I'm so worried and I don't know where my next thing is going to come from, then guess what? Those are the messengers that you're sending out before you. But okay. what would it look like to actually change that message into something positive? Yeah. What would it look like to say, oh, I'm thankful today, amen. Right. God woke me up this morning. Yeah. I'm thankful today I have my health. Okay. I'm thankful today I'm not lying flat on anybody's hospital bed. Yeah. I'm thankful today because I'm not I'm hungry. I'm yeah. thankful today because I got clothes on my back. I'm thankful today because I helped somebody else. I'm thankful today because I was able to go out and spread the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. So know what your goal is. Send your messengers out ahead of you. Speak those things that are, are not in your life. Speak favor yeah. over your life. Speak positive things over your life. Yeah. Stop spewing negativity in right. and through your life. For the power, the power that God has given you. 
But they said on their way they entered the village of the Samaritans. Mm -hmm. My God. Who in here knows that as you, you set your goal, you know you got to get to Jerusalem, but guess what? You got to go through all these other towns before you get to Jerusalem. Now, ain't that something? Now, you're going to Jerusalem to be crucified. But on the way, you still got to get beat up and torn up on the way. Isn't that something? Now, you're going to Jerusalem to get saved. And the only way to get saved is to beat the flesh. The only way to beat the flesh is to be crucified in the name of Jesus. Amen. But along the way, you still got to go through many dangers, toils, and snares. Look at the word of God 